Hey guys and welcome back. I hope you're all well and welcome back to a new in-home decor video. This is definitely a long time coming. I think I haven't done one of these since last year so there's lots to catch you up on with regards to what's new in our home and also what we're planning to do. I will also have, I think this is going to be my next video, is our bedroom makeover. I do have some updates in this one but the next video after that I'm pretty sure will be the bedroom makeover. So give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and Let's get right into the video. I was looking back at this area from my last home update video I did and wow this has come a long way. We have more of a gallery wall at the back and this is still progressing. I'm mostly picking up frames and then deciding what will go in them after. So I would like this wall to be completely covered and of course we're gonna be decorating in here, but this is quite a big job. Then the wall lights, I know I've shared these in a recent video. They are from Pookie, they are the rechargeable wall lights. They're called the Twinkie. They don't come as a two, you do have to buy them separately, but they're absolutely amazing. And they just add a bit of character to the wall along with all the pictures. I think most of the things on the bar cart I have shown you before. I wanna say 90% of the decor pieces is charity shop finds. I have done quite a few thrifted versus styled short videos and a couple of long ones if you want to see what I pick up from the charity shop. The crystal pieces are fairly new so the dish with the limes in and then I've got this dish at the back with the bottle of wine in so it's a great wine holder. This ice bucket is a fairly new find and this napkin holder as well both from charity shops. I really love going on the hunt for special and unique one-off pieces. You would have seen me recently in one of my Clean With Me's unbox this lampshade. This is from Dunelm. It's a pretty new style of shade. I absolutely love this cone shade. It really complements certain lamp bases beautifully. And then the lamp base was an amazing find from Ikea. Super affordable. I want to say it was under £40. And I love the fact that you have the pull to turn the light on and off. And then the base is this big gold base. Now I know this floor lamp looks completely round over there but there is a method to my madness of putting specific pieces of decor here and there. We are going to have a chair right next to the radiator so the lamp is going to complement the chair and then I've spoken about this a few times before over the last couple of years so this back wall is quite a large wall if you can see there and we're going to have a hole fitted in unit in the same shade as the bar car I'm going to get it matched so we're just focusing on getting a couple of quotes at the moment and we're also in the process of finally getting a new sofa this sofa we've had since we moved into our old house I want to say this sofa is about 11 years old definitely served its purpose but it's time to get something new we're going to be getting a single sofa and not an L shaped and then have the chair that I mentioned over this side where the camera is. Another thing that I've been picking up is new cushions for the sofa that we're going to get because we definitely know the colour. It's going to be a more lighter neutral colour. The couple of cushions that I got are these gorgeous burnt orange ones from John Lewis. 
they're a velvet really really nice because you can see they sort of like mark but then you can just brush it down and it just puts it back how it is nice quality and a great price and then the other one that I have so I have two of the velvet and then two of these these are from Dunelm from their they are the church gate collection they're this lovely neutral striped color and these are from the curtain section. I believe they do a curtain in this fabric as well. So I do recommend looking in their curtain section because you might see something a bit different like these. I really wanted something neutral, but with a pattern in. And in the breakfast area in the kitchen, there is this new floor lamp. If you recognize the style, it's the same style as we have in the bedroom. If you've seen it, we have the two silver wall lights and I think it fits perfectly into this little spot here there's just this bit that comes out so I wanted to get a floor lamp to stand there we still don't have two chairs here because other things have become priority when decorating in this house but there will definitely be a couple of chairs there eventually so the things that I do have for these imaginary chairs are to pillows also from Dunelm. I shared these with you guys a couple of clean with me's back. Let me show you up close. You would have also seen me use these outside. So all of these are multifunctional. I love using these here in the off seasons and then in the summer they look great outside with all of the blue and white outside decor. So these smaller striped ones are from the Churchgate collection, which I've mentioned before is another wonderful collection. Dormer and Churchgate are the ones to look out for in Dunelm. They do really beautiful, higher quality pieces that are still super affordable as well. Then the couple of things that are in this, what I call like a command station, where we put our keys and glasses and things like that, is this new rechargeable lamp from Pookie. I just wanted something neutral for in here. It's from Amazon. It actually came in a two pack. And then the radio is one of the Roberts radios. I really love how they come in different colors. And I thought this one was great because it's more compact. And the blue is such a beautiful blue. I actually got this on Amazon, but I love having a radio in the kitchen. It just adds a bit of atmosphere in the day in the kitchen when you haven't got the TV on and things like that. It's just nice to have a bit of background music. I wanted to share with you guys an update in the bedroom. Now I can't remember if I have shown, I'm sure I have, in a long form video what we've been doing in here but I have been giving updates over on my home Instagram but we are very nearly finished in here so we've done two different colours in here both from Lick Paint and the panelling is from b and in fact a lot of things are from b and I think it's become like my second home lately I think we'll be moving back in here in the next couple of weeks We've just got the light switches to change up and a new ceiling light. It's hard to show you guys all of it because this room is quite small and a majority of the room is taken up by the bed. But I did panelling on the bottom and then I did a picture rail at the top. This is not a conventional picture rail. I just wanted a small one so I created this one myself and then painted a little bit of the wall and the ceiling the white colour. So I definitely will be reporting back soon because we are very nearly finished which I'm so excited about. Now we're moving into the dressing room slash my office. It's really hard to show this space in one shot because it is an L shaped and it's quite long. But this room is going to be my next project after the bedroom. 
then followed by the living room. So there's been quite a few furniture changes and a couple of new lights. So first off, let me show you the desk. I think I did share this in my recent clean with me. If you've been with me for quite a few years, then you'll know that my previous desk that I had in the old house and then I bought it here was a Ikea desk. It was just a white tabletop, I can't remember the name of it, and then two metal legs, so the top balanced on the legs. However, I really wanted something with storage in and something that was a bit more me now, I guess. My tastes have definitely changed since moving to this house and also since we've been living here and I've grown a bit older. I'm leaning more towards traditional decor with a modern twist as well and I was after a wooden desk so this is from Oak Furniture Land I really like their furniture it's solid wood this is a mango wood and the only thing I did to this is I just changed the draw pulls to a brass finish I always recommend Etsy for hooks and draw pulls. They have a really wonderful selection from lots of different sellers who are UK based and I just feel like there's more variety character and they're super affordable. So the difference with this desk is it's longer this way and then narrower so this means that I can fit a lovely chair here that I'm on the hump for. At the moment I've just got my old Ikea one but I am looking to upgrade that and just get something really nice and comfy to sit on that I can maybe just curl my legs up in and things like that. So the other new thing on this desk is the lamp. Both the lampstand and the shade are from Pookie Light. This one has a lovely bamboo style on the base. I really like how this fits in nicely within this room because I've got the bamboo frame. I don't know if you can see up there. And I just love the style of the bamboo on decor. So this is a brass finish and then the shade is a pleated silk shade I believe. I will link it down below. But I opted for a cream shade rather than a white just to mix it up a bit. But I just love how it all kind of brings it together. There is going to be lots of things happening in this room. I'm going to be doing some more panelling on the walls like the bedroom and then we're going to be fitting in the Ikea. Let me show you. We're going to be fitting in these Ikea units back to the wall. When we first put them in, I kind of, I don't regret it, but I wish I'd got the taller version of these because now I'm thinking of extending these up and putting some storage on and it would just help it look more like a fitted wardrobe. There is loads of videos out there on how people transform their Pax wardrobes into a custom fitted one and I think it's so amazing the transformation so that is to come and also painting this room. So the other new piece of furniture in here is this desk also from Oak Furniture Land. I absolutely love the design of this and it's more like an off-white cream shade in the oak wood. It doesn't have as much storage as the Ikea Alex that I had previously there. However, I've condensed it down and moved a few things around so it's more organised and also functional for how I use this whole room. Okay, so you have the two drawers. I believe this design is actually quite new but my top tip for looking for furniture especially from Oak Furniture Land is look out for the sales. They always seem to have a sale whether it's a bank holiday, an Easter holiday, Black Friday, January sale and things like that. So definitely keep that in mind when you're investing in furniture. These drawers, this one I haven't filled yet but I don't plan to fully fill it. I'm just deciding what I would need from a functional point of view to go in here when I'm doing my makeup. And then this drawer has fitted in all of my makeup. 
I've had these storage containers for years. They're Muji ones, they're the PP storage. They actually stack on top of each other if you're looking for something like that. But these are great because they're washable. You can just take them out and wash them and they actually fit in this space really nicely. This bit is the L-shaped bit that I was talking about. But I love this bit because it's almost like a little alcove that I'm gonna decorate. My mirror here is down on the floor at the moment until we can secure it to the wall. But as we're decorating, I'm just gonna leave it there for now. And also I'm bringing up a stool that I had in the hallway. I just need to replace that and that will go here. One piece of furniture that I'm still looking for in this room is a new skincare cabinet. I would like to find something that's more antique looking and like I said, second hand, but I haven't come across that yet. I think I'm gonna leave that until I've decorated this whole room, unless I find something that's an absolute bargain and fits in that space well. But that is all the updates thus far. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I love sharing with you guys what we're doing and hopefully that it will inspire some of you guys when decorating or if you have a new build it will just give you some ideas. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I'd love to have you as part of the PBB community. Also if you love all of the home decor things please give me a follow on my Instagram home. I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care guys, bye.